All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're going to be talking about what everybody is upset about today. You know, when you get online, it feels like everybody's just so combative. Everybody's so ready to jump at each other's necks. Everybody more or less just gets upset about things that don't matter, right? Like how many videos have we made here on the channel where we're talking about like, hey, why is everybody mad about this? Or like, why is this even a controversy? Why do people care? And this is a great example of another one of those situations where it's like, you look at it from an outside perspective looking in and you're like, why are people upset about this? Like, why is this a huge deal? Why are people making really any deal out of this, right? I feel like I kind of carry this lost art now, right? Where like, I can see something online, you know, maybe it bothers me a little bit. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of shitty. Or like, they shouldn't say that. Or like, yeah, that's offensive or whatever it may be. But instead of losing my marbles about it and like, you know, leaving a comment or like getting genuinely upset over it, I just do something called scroll past it. Like if I just see something I don't like online, I just don't interact with it. You know what I mean? Uh, if it's like an annoying tweet or something, I just hit the not interested button. Like I feel like people have forgotten that you can do these things on social media. You know what I mean? Like you can just, you, you can choose to see what content you're seeing, you know? But apparently people have just forgotten that art, man. So today we're going to be talking about James Charles because he got himself into a micro controversy with some of his fans over something he posted to Instagram. Keep in mind, I am not a fan of James Charles or anything, but when I saw this situation, I was like, no way people are mad about this, right? Like this cannot be something that people are really getting upset about, right? So James Charles recently posted to Instagram and it was a somewhat gruesome video. I don't know, like it's clearly makeup to me. I mean, I've seen so much like really gory shit online that like seeing some nasty gory makeup or whatever doesn't really affect me you know like i've seen people get their fucking heads blown off with shotguns i've seen isis saw people's heads off you know what i mean like i've seen some pretty messed up stuff online so when i see like some makeup or like a clear like graphic effect or something like that it, it doesn't affect me, you know what I mean? Like, it's not gross, it's not gruesome. So maybe I'm just too desensitized, but I feel like this is just a non-controversy that got turned into one. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the little clip that James Charles posted to his Instagram here, and it's gonna kind of show you the, I guess, overall video that got people a little worked up here. I guess I gotta put a trigger warning. If you're, like, too sensitive to see, like, fake blood and, like, fake cuts to someone's face, go ahead and skip like 10 seconds ahead in the video when I play. Other than that, go ahead and uh, just take a look at this, man. So. So I honestly feel like this is a pretty generic post, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, maybe not everybody makes a little video like this or whatever, but you know, for someone who's like a star for doing Instagram and all this stuff, like he has 22 and a half million followers. This doesn't really seem too off brand, you know what I mean? Like this seems like it would be something that a lot of people would make. Like it's, I don't think a huge deal. I don't really see the problem with it. I don't see a controversy out of it, but some people did and some people got a little worked up over this one, right? And you might be wondering, well, Optimus, why are people mad about this? Why did anyone get upset about this in the first place? Like, what did he do here? You know, I know he like sliced his face and did some makeup or whatever, right? To make it look like he cut his cheeks. But what, what's the controversy, right? I needed a warning. 428 likes. No way this doesn't get taken down. 100 likes. I love you. I love your videos, but a trigger warning would be nice next time if you're going to show cutting or blood. Thanks. All right, so I wanted to talk about this, right? Because people are upset that he didn't put a trigger warning about him fake cutting his face with a fake piece of glass or whatever, right? I don't know about you guys. Like, I get it's gory. I get it's graphic and like there's blood and stuff but I don't think it's sensitive enough that a trigger warning needs to be shown. You know what I mean? You know, I get it, right? Like there's people out there who cut themselves and they self-harm and whatnot. And people are like grossed out by blood and whatnot. But if we're being honest, man, like, and I, I hate to say this because I know it's going to upset some people or whatever, but if you're this sensitive to where like you can't see blood and you can't see like gory shit, what are you honestly doing on the internet? Like, I, I don't know, man. I was like seven years old the first time I saw some just wild wreck 
shit on the internet, dude. I was like eight years old seeing people get their hands cut off and shit by the Mexican cartel. So once again, maybe I'm just too desensitized to this entire thing, but like people are, are like really saying he should have put a trigger warning on this, right? Like people really get fucking triggered like this. Like people see fucking fake blood and they just freak out like they don't know what to do. I just, I don't understand, man. Like I, once again, I get that there's people out there who self-harm, but like, are, are they in a mental state where like they're in a place where they see James Charles do some fake bloody makeup and they're like, oh man, I gotta go slash my wrists with a fucking metal knife. I don't know, that sounds more like a user problem, you know what I mean? Like, maybe at that point you need therapy or, like, some mental help or something to get you through that. I don't think we need to police what James Charles puts on his Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or whatever because you personally have a problem with it. And I think that's, like, a massive issue that, like, the online society has kind of had. Like, we've gotten to this point online where, like, if people don't like something they see... It's like expected that they are the ones who automatically get to decide whether or not that content's right to be online. Like people will get offended over something. They'll see something online they don't like or it, it rubs them the wrong way or whatever. And instead of just doing the tried and true method of what I do, just scroll past it if you don't like it, people leave a comment on the post or they like fucking retweet it or something. Which is weird because every social media works pretty much the same way. Like the more you interact with this type of content, the more of this content you're gonna get served by these platforms like that's how they work that's how they get you to see ads that's how they keep you on the platform like people are triggered or whatever that he showed some blood and cutting in this little video and then reacted because they didn't like it and inadvertently put themselves in a situation where they're now more likely down the road to get more content served to them like this so from my knowledge james hasn't really addressed this at all and to be honest with you like if i'm james charles right now sitting in my high Hollywood mansion with millions upon millions of dollars and all these followers on social media, I simply wouldn't give a fuck, right? Like, I wouldn't care that these people are upset and needed a trigger warning. Okay, like, I get the trigger warnings sometimes. I really do. Like, if we're talking about a super sensitive subject and, like, I can avoid you from seeing something that might legitimately bring up something you're traumatized about, I understand. But, like, this idea that we can overcorrect and overpolice everybody who uploads anything to social media at all because you don't like what they put on there is just fucking ridiculous. I mean, once again, like my, my tried and true method and, and feel free to copy this, feel free to steal this idea here, right? If there's something you ever see online that you don't like that just, you know, gets under your skin for whatever reason, just scroll past it. Pretend it doesn't fucking exist. Like that, that is so much better for your mental health than setting yourself up to care about something like this and nobody else giving a fuck about it, bro. Like, cause at the end of the day, do you really think James Charles is going to change how he posts on Instagram because you personally don't like it? Do we as a society really expect people to just fall in line like that? I don't know, but that's a ridiculous idea. So I don't know, man. Sorry if I upset anybody by showing this clip, if it was too gruesome or too gross for you or whatever, but it was just something I wanted to talk about because like, I feel like this is the biggest non-controversy possible, dude. Like people are actually upset about this and want trigger warnings for shit like this. Like you can't constantly be alerted to shit that, you know, is going to upset you. That's just not how the world works. Like sometimes you're going to see something you don't like and you just kind of have to deal with that. So anyway, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, defending James Charles and uh, signing out.